welcome back to another video from Big Bull Technology. Today's video is going to be all about design and technology. Design and technology is new here at Columbus, so you may not know exactly what we do in this course. So it's, you're having trouble choosing whether you want to do it. So today I'm going to give you a little bit more information about what we do and the processes that we want to be doing here at Columbus with design and technology. So you've got a little bit more of an idea whether this subject is for you to do for your electives. have in design and technology is you need to be creative. Are you somebody that likes to think out of the box? Are you like someone that likes to draw? Someone that likes to look at products and how they're made? Do you like to think about things and maybe research things to find a solution? That being creative is really important in how we view society and how we look at those designs of products that we use every single day, how they've been, been designed, why they've been designed. Do you look at something and think, wow, someone's actually had to sit down and make this? such an exciting time for new and emerging technologies. Laser printers, laser cutter and etcher, CNC machine, 3D printers. Now these machines are just some of the things that we will be using over the next few years in design and technology. If you would like to learn more or know how to use computer-aided design systems or computer systems and want to manipulate them to be able to use them for your benefit in your classroom, this is, subject is for you. So, what do we do in design and technology? I've spoken about some of the machines we're going to use, being creative, but what do we actually do? Well, that's the exciting part. It's up to you. I give you some parameters to be able to design something, to be able to make something, and it's up to you to be able to make that product and design that product within the parameters that I give you. For example, at the moment some of my students were making lamps. Now it's just not a matter of making whatever lamp you want. No, I've given you some parameters. That lamp has to be designed in a certain way. So that lamp has to be designed for a student that is afraid of the dark, for a, a childcare centre, or for a hospital, or an IT business. So there's some of the things that you have to go and research and then think about how you're going to design this lamp to be able to fit in that environment. How you do that, what you do, is up to you. What you want to do is what you can make. That's the exciting part about design and technology, that you actually get to do what you want for a change instead of the teacher telling you what you need to do. So there you have it, that's design and technology. But what kind of person picks design and technology? Well, the student that wants to, to learn more, be creative more, have fun. We have great fun in our classes. Be able to, you know, learn more about design. People that want to maybe become architects, tradespeople, learn to use your hands and be creative with that. Producing pieces of projects and elements that people are just wowed by. If you think that's you, then design and technology could be the subject for you. Give it a go. 